of them. Uh, and they're from all different years. So this was from eight years ago. Torchlit March in Kiev by Ukraine's right-wing Svoboda party. And you'll see the Svoboda flags, but also the red and black uh, right wing, right sector, uh, Nazi collaborator flags in the crowd. Torchlit march, just like the Nazis during World War II. Uh, here's another one BBC Newsnight. Neo Nazi threat in new Ukraine. So it's not something that Russia is imagining. It's something that the Western media had been covering all of these years. This, this video is from eight years ago. This is from 2014, Ukraine conflict, white power warrior from Sweden. You gotta read the whole article too. It's, it's much worse than even the headline suggests. Ukraine underplays role of far right in conflict, 2014. And now Forbes and David Axe are underplaying the role of the far right in this, in this ongoing conflict. Here's another one. Uh, this is from seven years ago. The far right group threatening to overthrow Ukraine's government. So. It wasn't that the Nazis in Ukraine were just a threat to Russia or Russian-speaking Ukrainians. They were a threat to absolutely everyone in Ukraine, even the anti-Russian puppet regime the U.S. installed into power from 2014 onward. And that is in this BBC video, this one here. The, again, the links will be in the video description below. Ukraine's most feared volunteers, and this is, this is uh, seven years ago, and they're talking about Azov Battalion. Ukraine on patrol with the far-right national militia. This is from four years ago. Here, uh, 2020, Ukraine coat of arms in UK anti-terror list forer. And well, this is because they are associated with extremism and that's why they're on the list, but it's politically inconvenient for London and Washington. So that's why it became a bit of a controversy. Uh, here's another one from this one from Al Jazeera. This is just uh, earlier this year, 2022. Ukrainian fighters grease bullets against Chechens with pig fat. So it goes to show you that uh, Forbes is trying to argue that this de-radicalization began in 2019. This is 2022 and they're still just overtly racist bigots. And finally, and I think this headline says it all, and this is from The Hill, not, not RT. Uh, not TASS, it's from The Hill, and it says the reality of neo-Nazis in